Okay, so in this video, I need to make some changes to my website. Uh, what I'm doing is actually fairly simple. On this Helps menu, I want to add another category down here. And this is the menu uh, just running by itself in a HTML page. And under the Helps, I'm going to be adding this Audio Video section here. All right, and that's not hard to do. I have a program that I've generated my menus in, and adding the HTML code to the page is not hard to do. The problem that I ran into, or it's not a problem actually, but the, the uh, thing that uh, will have to be done is with the CSS. So there are several things that are gonna have to be done with this. Uh, the new code for the menus has to be added and then, of course, it has to be minified, and it's going to have to be accounted for with a critical path. Okay, so this video is about how to uh, get the CSS in a usable state so that you can actually edit it. Now, if you've minified your CSS and gotten your site so that your page load speeds are uh, pretty quick and everything, that's all well and good, but what happens when we need to go back and actually edit the CSS? And that's exactly the problem that I was looking at. So I have the CSS here, and this of course is minified, and to even think about trying to edit this and add or replace code would really be kind of silly. So I had no idea what to do, but I did go over to Google, and I typed in the string uh, how to reverse minified CSS. And what I came up with was the online CSS unminifier by Peter Coles. And this was the first entry that I got, and I decided to go ahead and try it. And this is absolutely wonderful. So this looks a lot like the CSS minifier, only it's going to work in reverse and uh, a little bit of a biographical information there on Peter Coles, software engineer. So uh, thank you, Mr. Coles, for the tool here. This is absolutely amazing. So in order to edit the CSS and make the changes for my website, I'm going to have to go back and get the original CSS and make sure that it that is the correct CSS. I did this video earlier and had actually found out that my backup copy on my local machine was uh, didn't have some of the changes in it that I'd made later on. So I really didn't have a, a, a backup. So what I had to do was get the actual CSS off the uh, website, it's off the, all, out of my hosting account. Anyway, this is the CSS that's been minified. I need to edit that and add the code for the new menu. So this is the minified CSS. I'm going to select all of it, copy it. I'm going to come over here to Mr. Cole's CSS unminifier, highlight everything that's in there, and then paste in my minified CSS. And this is actually fairly quick. Hit the unminify button. And then the bottom down here is the unminified CSS. So I'm going to select all of that and copy it. And I'm going to come back over to Notepad++, which is what I've been using to edit a lot of these pages. Open up a new page. And I'm going to go ahead and um, paste all that in there. Now right now it's just a text file. It doesn't really look like a uh, CSS file. So I'm just going to hit File and Save As. I'm going to tell Notepad++ this is a cascading style sheet. And uh, I'm just going to give it the name Test. I'm just going to go ahead and save that. And you notice when I saved it, it turned it into a CSS page and everything's color coded and everything. Now all I have to do is find the section for my menus and drop the new CSS in, making sure to select all of the 
code that exists there and put in the new code. Now, one thing about the minified file is when I had this file originally before I minified it, I had comment lines that actually identified what each section was. When you minify the files, it takes out uh, redundant entries, it takes out overlapping type of things, it also takes out comment lines. So the only thing you have to do is be careful where you make your changes at, make sure that you're not overwriting something. And it would probably be good uh, immediately after uh, creating this new file to go ahead and make a copy of it with the file save as so that you actually don't lose anything. From this point on, it would be a matter of selecting the CSS that needs to be replaced. And of course, for me, it would be this section through here and down a little farther. Drop in the changes, test them, and then when all those changes are done, you'll have to repeat the steps to minify that and also to find the critical path CSS. Um, so the entire site's going to have to be adjusted uh, because you've made those changes. So that was something that I ran into. I uh, got a little worried that I wouldn't be able to reverse that. Um, but this was a, a pretty interesting and amazing tool that I found. And because of that, I will now be able to go back into my website and adjust the CSS, add my new menus, and we'll be able to get that uh, where I want it to be. So I hope this is helpful and uh, comes into some good use. It's uh, definitely something that answers questions about what to do with uh, the CSS after you've minified it. Uh, probably would also hold true for JavaScript that's minified as well. So thanks for watching and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, thank